Hey guys, and welcome back to Terra Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Hope you guys are having a good day too. So, in anticipation of the new patch coming out, we've we're gonna start, you know, kind of getting a base together. Um, I just want to get everything set up because there's, you know, because what the scrappers, silos, the new conveyor belts, um, and the new crafting tables. We're gonna need a lot of room, and we're gonna, you know, I, I'd like to make it nice and clear. Like we did earlier, uh, oh, maybe 12 episodes ago. Anyways, <laughs> so we've kind of built the harvesting vehicle here. I wanted to try something brand new out. It's been bugging me for the longest time. And I thought, you know, maybe this episode would be perfect one to work with. So, yeah, it's kind of, you know, we'll just go over this vehicle really quickly. I kind of was thinking like a semi at first. And then I was like, meh. So, <laughs> we got... The four drill bits, then I put four smaller GSO drill bits up here because we always end up getting high centered on a rock or something like that. And actually, right now we have the clearance to drive around, I haven't been hung up on them yet. So then we have what is it, the Venture Hail Rifle or Hail, Hail Fire Rifles <laughs> along with the Hawkeye Repeater Rifles. Um, there is a repair bubble, two. Shield bubbles, I believe, and two shield bubbles back here, two here, and one repair bubble, and uh, two GEO or GSO batteries in the center here. Now you're probably wondering what this is all about here. Well, we're about to—I'm about to show you. <laughs> and now, don't get me wrong. I really like this, and the, the possibilities that it's given me, or the ideas that it's given me. Are unbelievable but it's a little tricky to hook up at first but it's not as bad as you might think okay so we're just gonna hook up really slowly here because we have a trailer that's on hover pads <laughs> okay let's see if I can do this first try and not embarrass myself um, it looks like we're there Oh, come on, it was right there. Boom. <laughs> so now, we're hooked up, right? Two hooks. So then, we'll switch to this one. So this is the trailer that I made. Kind of, I just, it was really quickly, I just wanted to test it out. Because I was thinking, in, for the next base, if we're going to do, like, massive harvesting, like, you can literally make a trailer just for... You know, harvesting uh, ores and stuff like that, and then you could bring it back to base, drop it off, and then pick up a nail trailer that might be for more, you know, resources or for running around and killing people and picking or destroying other techs and picking up all their pieces, bring it back to be all scrapped. You know, <laughs> so there's a lot of possibilities here. Um, so yeah, there's a cab, two batteries. I put a remote generator on here because obviously our batteries aren't gonna charge this. So it does have wood as the, um, what is it, the conveyor, the <laughs> the sorting conveyor belt on it, but that'll probably change as soon as we get the new conveyor belts, um, and then a cab, uh, a bunch of um, zero G Venture zero G uh, hover pads on the bottom, and then I put two five way steerings here, just because this. When you're kind of going to dock it or whatever, it's going to be a little hard. You're going to have to, you know, kind of, like right now our front tech is actually pushing against it, but, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But yeah, as you can see, right? So, we'll switch to the very first one. And we'll pull it just away a little bit. We'll switch back to it just so you guys can kind of see. Oh. Oh, there we go. So the zero, the five-way steering kind of helps, but not a hundred percent. Now, I don't know how easy this is going to be to, you know, um, repark it, like redock it or whatever. But you know, it's something. You can always rip this all down and then you just bring it up, build it off, to, uh, build it really quickly. So, like that. And, oops, actually, well, 
No. Come on. Doesn't want to give me that snap point. There we go. Oh. Wanted to see you guys. I wanted to show you guys driving away. It will give me the snap point. I just have to be fast enough. <laughs> okay. Here, oh. Let's go like this. You know, I wish those names didn't get in the way. Boom. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, that's kind of how you have to use the five-way steering. But, well, that's... I'm not going to charge... I'm not going to power up everything. So we're not going to charge the batteries, really. But as you can see, it's kind of, you know, just a giant circle. You know, back it in. Hopefully. Um, now let's switch to the front tech, and I'll show you guys how well it actually works. <laughs> but as you can see, there's like pretty much no... Um, no weight transfer to the front vehicle. I know it's kind of traveling a little weird. Is I guess all right in a sense. You could probably do a a better circle or something like that. But like, <laughs> it's actually not the worst thing in the world because you know you're gonna have to do that serpentine serpentine kind of thing anyways. So. With its erratic, the uh, the erraticness of your hovercraft in the back isn't too bad. Not to mention, you could probably uh, gain more control over it, uh, depending. Here we'll see here. I don't want to pull anything off of it. I have to go down a venture, and how would we do this? Like you're gonna want to make like crash bumpers kind of thing. Well, something sort of like that, right? That way, it kind of always wants to stick behind you a little bit, a little bit better at least. <laughs> um, I was gonna go with the larger drill bits. Uh, what is it? The uh... oh, right there, the Cerberus. Cerberus head, light bore, fuel corp drill bits. <laughs> but I don't know. I just I like the four. I like the having you know the two in the front and then the ones you know one on each side in front of the tires. That way, when if we hook up on the side with a rock, it's not so bad. It uh, you know kind of <laughs> uh, start to rip it apart for us. Because that happens quite often. Um, of course I didn't put a radar on here. So. Because that's me. But yeah. In the. I'm kind of. You know. There's so many different kind of trailers you could do with this. Um, I don't know what else you could do. You could probably put an AI unit in the back there. And then. Uh, you know. Attach. Oh. Yeah. That's a thing you could do. Hey. Make a like a trailer that's just all solid guns and put an AI unit on there. And I guess if you got in a really really bad fight, you could actually just release it and then hopefully hook up to it again later. <laughs> but I actually don't. I really like the the hover trailer. Like I know it looks weird that it's just going wherever it wants and it's you know. <laughs> flopping from side to side but I really don't notice it and like like you don't notice it when you're driving in the vehicle here so the erratic driving is just me I just don't know how to drive straight <laughs> but yeah I think uh, this will definitely be in our new base here um, I think I'll probably make one or two more Maybe revamp the idea a little bit. I, the one behind us is was more or less just a test, and it's uh, yeah, it's really proven itself. And as you can see, the it just fed itself some wood, and it's charging its own battery, which we could actually put a receiver or a remote charger on that, 
and charge ourselves, right? Uh, let's see. I just want to make a hundred percent sure. Like, look at that. Now, is that not a cool or what? <laughs> and not to mention, because we are we're always making different vehicles, right? So, and then you always, ah, oh, I just don't like having a million vehicles. But if we make one really good harvester, um. And you don't want to get rid of it. If you have something like this, you just change the trailers. That's the only thing you have to do, right? Like, uh, we'll try it probably after the new stuff comes out because there's not too much of a reason to have it. But I'm thinking like a trailer with all the... Uh, what is it? With the refineries, the foundries, the fabricators... No, you could literally, I think the sky's the limit with this kind of stuff, you know, because, you know, the zero G is going to push a certain amount of weight, it's going to lift a certain amount of weight, but it seems like there's zero stress on our vehicle, like, uh, I don't know, yeah, like, there's nothing... Does the shield bubbles underpowered? I don't know. There's, yeah, I I just don't notice it, right? Like we're moving around, no problem. So depending on how fast you actually were going, yeah. See, our receiver for the center there is a little off. It's too far away from the edge, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, now that we're you know full. Let's see, we gotta come down here. <laughs> now, like I said, this isn't... Now, when we have a base built, it'll probably be a lot easier, too, because we'll probably almost make, like, a loading dock-style thing that you... S but, yeah, okay, let's go like that. Sorry, a little bit of glitchy there, leg. Uh... Interesting how it wants to... Yeah, this is why I think you might have to... Um, build the... Receiver when you get... Actually, you could probably force it over. Can't see it. Okay. <laughs> oh! Okay. I think... Oops. What's going on? That's close enough now. I'm trying to see which way. Okay, it'll go that way. Ugh. Get in there. So actually, we know we're close enough because it doesn't want to swing past it. So we'll go like this. And now, you might think, yeah, this is kind of like a waste of time trying to hook it up. But a trailer, not this one, but a, a fully loaded trailer, no matter how big your factory is and the conveyor belts and all that, it's going to take about 5 to 10 minutes for it to um, unload your trailer. So if you don't want to sit around for that kind of time, then boom. All right, there you go. It hooked it up. Back it up a little more. Now this was the hard part for me. They didn't want to give me the snap locations. Okay, there. Now, of course, I'm just doing this so... Well, if you were to hook this up, yeah, okay. Right now, probably half the trailer's gone. Uh... Then you go like that. Now, you can pull out, and it'll just... You know, it'll, it should just jump out. Yeah, this just jumps out like that. But uh, earlier I did this, or yeah, when we backed in, you've you seen that I had to unhook all the way down to the bottom here, and then unhook that center part. So, that's that. So, possibilities pretty much endless. You know, and look, we don't even have to worry about it. It's just sitting there. It's not going to go anywhere. It's unloading itself. Like, if we were on that, uh, the flat planes, 
It's awesome because you could just back right in. Boom. <laughs> uh, we'll f when we get the base built, I think we'll we'll really have a finesse. Um, it's five wide, so if we go six, that'll give you know half a block room on each side, and so you just kind of wiggle it in, and then I think we'll just. We'll figure something out. <laughs> but yeah, if you like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And happy Halloween, and be safe out there tonight if you guys are trick-or-treating. I'll see you guys tomorrow.